What's up you guys and welcome back to another reddit reading video. I'm very sorry if you hear a slightly overweight dog snoring in the background, there's thundering going on and she is highly afraid of thundering. Look, this is her. She might be overweight but she has a great personality. And she's getting her hair cut on Friday so she's gonna be beautiful. So it turns out a whopping 98% of the viewers are not subscribed and only a measly little 0.7% watchers are subscribed. So if you want to join a part of the reddit reading family, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, on to the r slash entitled parents stories. We did entitled kids yesterday, so let's see what their parents are doing. Entitled teacher steals my work laptop mid-exam and accuses me of cheating. It is I, the wonderful Brucey, back again with another story for you all. This story happened very recently, and I find it more amusing than anything. So it's exam season, and I'm in the extra care group. This group requires a bit of boosty during the exam. And for me, I require a laptop and alone space. I have a few psychological issues and my hands are incredibly shaky constantly, so I use a laptop for all my exams rather than handwriting it, and I have been since year 9 and I'm currently in year 13. One major issue with me is I can't think straight unless I talk out loud. I can do this in a hushed whisper, but it's why I have to be alone. I'm sitting in the back in a large hall with my computer, far away from everyone else's eyes, so I can freely explain my thoughts through myself while tapping away. Before I get on with the story, I should explain Mr. M. Mr. M is a high-end teacher with two students in his school. Neither are important for the story. Mr. M prioritizes those students heavily and puts them in the best classes whenever he could. The classes I was in. They always get the top marks. We're always winners in some sort of contest. I, being the quiet-minded kid who focuses much more on daydreaming about Hulk fantasies, didn't care too much for these brats. I just kept on keeping on. Well until today. I was in my history exam quietly tapping away about Stoicism and how Alexander II screwed up everything trying to make it more modern. I was also whispering to myself as I did it, telling myself what to write as I typed it, but felt something. A very sharp tap. I looked up to see Mr. M glaring at me sharply. I didn't understand what I did wrong, so I went back to suddenly tapping, struggling much more as I was very anxious about my thinking issue. Another hard tap. I turned back to him and he hissed some sort of nonsense about me cheating. I remained silent. I would never cheat an exam, even if I was struggling so bad. Why would he have accused me of it now? The silence persisted until he muttered something about having special treatment and his son requiring a laptop. And before I could respond, he picked it up and began walking away. Now all this was done in a very quick and quiet movement. I couldn't react, I just sat in stunned silence. My work was gone. I had been in this exam for an hour. I wanted to break down and cry, this was too much for me. It was lucky Ms. D, the other one who was in charge of the exams, quickly noticed my lack of computer. Ms. D was the one who gave me the computer in the first place, so I knew something was up. She told me to go with her and she took me outside where I explained everything. The lack of the computer, Mr. M accusing me of cheating, being kicked out of the exam hall, everything. She listened constantly then told me to stay and went off somewhere. From what I got told from a teacher who heard the commotion, being near Mr. M's classroom, Miss D tore him a new one. She berated him for ruining my exam and stealing my property without any acknowledgement of my conditions. She eventually returned to me with the laptop and the memory drive. Luckily he hadn't removed it and gave me an extra time slip for 15 minutes. Luckily I was able to get the exam completed even though it left me a bit shaken up. I hadn't seen Mr. M for the rest of the day and noticed that his class was taken by a sub for the lesson. Maybe some action was taken against him? Thank you for reading, love sharing the little entitlement stories with you all. Update. I got information. Oh boy have I got a story for you. It turns out he's been confiscating work off others and giving it to his kids to hand in. Mr. M has been removed from the college and is not allowed to teach anywhere in my country's region or regions nearby. His kids have also been expelled due to consistent cheating. He had been replaced on the exam board by a very sweet lady, who I had to watch over me and my media exam. I needed an individuator near me while working due to some of my issues. I am very happy I have friends in high places, and hopefully, I'll not see him ever again. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's kind of what he gets just for being rude. I kind of had a, someone like that in one of my classes, his name was Angel, this was a long time ago, I was still in elementary school. It turns out he had like a learning disability, but the weird thing was, he was doing like high school math. Like his learning disability, I guess, was in every single class except for math. When I tell you this dude was a genius, he knew everything. I don't know how, he just did. Like he had the same thing where he had to type everything. Like he, he wasn't able to write, so he always had like a little mini computer with him at all times. Which was weird because our like my school already gave us computers, like mini laptops at all times. But he always had an extra one that he was always on. 
but we also had the same math class and that boy when i tell you he knew everything that is not an understatement there's nothing that he did not know and he would still listen diligently in class it's crazy i was the opposite i didn't listen to anything <laughs> i hate math to this day i hate math i never use it after multiplying and dividing what there's nothing else <laughs> okay i'll stop now my hateful math <laughs> i won't stop talking on it <laughs> next story i was called by my sister's high school because some kid grabbed her inappropriately and his entitled mom was defending him recently i was called to go to my sister's school because apparently some kid grabbed her butt and she slapped him i arrived at the school and the kid and my sister were already there the kid's mom arrived soon after and started scolding my sister for hitting her son I told her that her kid has no business touching my sister and that he deserved it. She then rants on about her kid doesn't know any better. He's 15 or 16. I then tell her that if he doesn't know any better, she has failed as a parent. The principal just says his behavior will not be tolerated and he's getting expelled as he has done this several times to different girls. After that, my sister and I left as the day was almost over and I didn't want to have to drive all the way back to the house then leave soon after. Oh my goodness, that's wow, what an abrupt end to the story. But my... So he was a repeat offender in the first place. He should have been like about that one guy in my class. There's some people who can be in the normal class. And then some people, even if it's behavior issues, don't need to be in the same class as everyone else. Just because either they can like interrupt a lot of people's learning processes or don't want to learn. And they are a danger to other kids like this one. Assaulting people is definitely a hindrance to people's learning ability. But then again, they probably send them to um, like a school for troubled kids. There, there's a school here. Like if you get expelled from the high schools around here, you have to go to something called Star Academy. And oh my goodness, I tell you, I had a substitute teacher that used to teach at Star Academy who had a fake eye. And like the way I passed school was like talking at my teachers. I almost never did any assignment ever, honestly. Like. I almost never did any work and I would befriend my teacher and just talk him up all day every day. Like I've always been a talker and I've always been like the person to, to talk no matter what. <laughs> so I'd always try to befriend them so then they wouldn't feel me. <laughs> That's involved because I was talking to the substitute that was there and I was like so like what happened with the situation with your eye? Like I didn't say it like so abrupt like that. I had got to know her the, the, most of the entire class. And she explained to me a story where when she was teaching at Star Academy it was only like her first couple of weeks there a kid picked up a desk and threw it at her face and her eyeball popped out. Yep, popped out. That's cr like, it's crazy how something like that can change your entire life. Like, that's crazy. And that kid got expelled from that school too. I'm pretty sure he got sent straight to like juvenile detention. But that is, ah, uh, it sucks. Shout out to you. I don't want to say your name. I'll feel weird. <laughs> okay, okay, next story. Hopefully this one is not, doesn't bring up any, uh, Eyeball memories, god dang. Disney Karen told a group of high schoolers and my family to go back to Mexico. This happened last night, it was my brother's birthday and we spent a few hours at Disneyland to celebrate. When we were ready to go home, we were waiting for the tram and the drama began. A man was getting into an argument with the worker who had happened to be my brother's friend. We were in the back of the tram and the Karen was in the front, her husband trying to argue with the worker. He finally gets on after yelling a remark about paying the worker's salary, so he deserves special treatment. There was a group of high schoolers making jokes about the scene, one which jokingly says he has a curfew. My brother laughs at this joke and catches Karen's attention. Karen, do you want a goddamn black eye? Don't laugh at us. My brother went quiet, he was smiling, but stopped laughing. Another high schooler made a joke directly to the Karen. Teen, what are you gonna do? Take away our salary? We all laughed, Karen was pissed. It was here that she made a comment that dug her into a hole. She noticed a combo factor between my siblings, the high schoolers, and I. We're all Hispanic. Karen, I think you should all shut the heck up. You don't belong here. Go back to Mexico. The tram car falls silent for a moment, and then a loud voice. High schooler. Wow, what a jerk. When we got back to the parking lot, we started unloading the tram. Karen suddenly pushes out one of the high school girls and books it to the lot. They all began yelling things along the lines of, The jerk pushed her. You have kids, you idiot. Push her again. I dare you. My family and I went home, we were all pretty upset about it. We don't know what happened to the group, but I doubt it was good. We did see Karen running up the escalator to her car, ditching her husband and her kids. She was on the phone, on the tram, and we were wondering if she was on the phone with the police. Oh gosh, people like this are so annoying. Okay, I'm Native American, but there are some white people in my family, like my extended family, and they like vocally do not like Middle Eastern people and Mexicans, and oh my gosh. And I'm the type of person where if I feel like something's wrong, I have to stand up for it. Like my mind does not let me back down. Like if someone says something wrong in my eyes, like my, my mouth is like, no, that can't pass. <laughs> so every time I'll, <laughs> I will incite argument I don't, on site every single time when they say something like, oh, those people or something like that, or they need to go back to this place or they don't belong 
going here. They say stuff like, those people have a secret agreement to take over the nation and stuff like this. And I'm like, what are you talking about? That stuff gets on my nerves so bad. It's just like, I'm sure most of you guys know. Just like, there's some people that are just racist and like, their closet is racist, but with their family, they're more open about it. So then like, he, they hear it. And then some family won't say anything, but I'm not the type of person to just let something fly by like that. Like, everyone's equal, and everyone's equal whether you're in private or public. It doesn't matter. You shouldn't say stuff like that about people. That's wrong. Anyways, before I go on a rant about equality, <laughs> let me know if you guys like this video on r slash entitled parents. If you guys have any suggestions for subs, let me know down below. I take every single subjection. Subjection? What? Suggestion. I hope I see you guys next time, and goodbye, my lovelies.